Hey, today I'm planting some bare root roses at uh, a community association hall. I thought you might like to see how it's done. So here they are, the uh, bare root roses. They came in the post from Roses Victoria. Thanks guys. They come in the middle of winter and bare root rose means that, there we are, it's totally bare. They just put a little bit of sawdust in and ship them to you. Why would you do it this way? It's cheap, it's easy, you can, they're easier to ship around the place so you can get specialist roses if you want. Uh, slightly cheaper to buy them this way. The key thing is you need to then get them into the garden, into the ground, within a day or so of them arriving. So, got my work cut out for me today with these 11 roses. Let's get on with it. Okay, the first step is to clear away the mulch that's on top of the soil there. So I've done that. You'll see here's the outline of the hole that I want to dig. It's about that big. But I've cleared away double the space of the mulch because you need to take the soil out of here and pile it up there. So I've loosened up that area there for the hole and I've got a bare patch of dirt here and I'm going to move that dirt onto. So now we have a hole about a foot deep and a pile of dirt on the side here, which is not mixed with the mulch at all. Next step is to improve this soil. So we'll mix in a whole set of organic material to help improve the soil structure. Three things will help this soil. A little bit of gypsum, uh, to work with the clay, well composted cow manure and home compost from the compost heap. It has all that beautiful organic matter as well as all sorts of life forms in there. We're mixing in all sorts of organic matter with the soil that we have. There's a reason we do that. You could dig a hole and just fill it up with perfect new soil, but that would create a whole different soil structure, almost like a bucket. Probably what will happen is water will just gather in your little hole there because it will have different water retaining qualities to everything around it. So what we've done here is use the existing soil. It's the soil from the bed around here, but we've just added in a lot of uh, organic matter and that will just start improving the soil structure for the where the plants are and uh, once you've got organic matter and uh, activity in your soil it actually starts to improve itself now you set up the bare root rows in the three-quarter field hole with the the roots nicely spread out and then you fill back over that with the remaining soil That's the level that you want to be planted at, just below the graft. All the commercial roses you buy have a, a root substock that's strong, resistant to bacteria, and they graft on the specialist fruiting wood up the top. And you want to be able to see that graft, mainly because then you can see any uh, suckers that might form out become quite obvious and you can trim them back. Then the last step is just to put all the mulch back around there. It's good for keeping the moisture and for other soil mechanisms. A good covering of mulch is always a good thing. Okay, that's one. I've got 11 to plant at this uh, community association hall today, so I'd better get a move on.